Good morning. It's Nadine Toriello, licensed esthetician and your personal skincare guru with this week's skincare tip. This week's tip, skin conditions, contact dermatitis. Have you ever used a new type of skincare product or detergent only to have your skin become red and irritated? If so, you may have experienced contact dermatitis. Contact dermatitis causes an allergic reaction, irritation, or rash, and this can be the result of direct contact with various irritants or allergens, such as poison ivy, jewelry containing nickel, cleaning products, perfumes, cosmetics, and even the preservatives in many over-the-counter skincare products. There are three types of contact dermatitis. First, the most common type, irritant contact dermatitis. It happens when the skin comes in contact with toxic materials such as bleach, drain cleaners, kerosene, laundry detergent or soap, or pepper spray. Even water can be an irritant. Hairdressers, bartenders, and healthcare workers can often experience irritant contact dermatitis of the hands because their hands are frequently exposed to water. Irritant contact dermatitis may cause symptoms such as blistering, cracked skin due to extreme dryness, swelling, skin that feels stiff or tight, ulcers and open sores that form crusts. Number two, allergic contact dermatitis, and it accounts for about 20% of all contact dermatitis and occurs when the skin develops an allergic reaction within 12 to 24 hours after being exposed to a substance. This causes the body to release inflammatory chemicals that can make the skin feel itchy and irritated. Common causes of allergic contact dermatitis include contact with jewelry made from nickel and even gold, latex gloves, perfumes, chemicals in cosmetics, hair care, and skin care products, and plants such as poison ivy or poison oak. Symptoms associated with contact dermatitis include dry, scaly, flaky skin, hives, oozing blisters, skin redness, skin that appears dark or leathery, skin that burns, extreme itching, sun sensitivity, and swelling, especially in the eyes, face, or in the groin area. The last and least common contact dermatitis is photocontact dermatitis, and it's a reaction that can occur when the active ingredients in a skincare product are exposed to the sun and result in irritation. Some products that may cause photocontact dermatitis include some sunscreens with ingredients like oxybenzone or cinnamates coal tar products, fragrances with musk in them, insecticides, and even disinfectants. Symptoms may include a phototoxic reaction, and that's similar to a bad sunburn. It can leave blisters or swelling, which can happen in a matter of minutes or up to 24 to 72 hours after exposure. and may leave hyperpigmentation long after the initial irritation is gone. There's also a photoallergic reaction, which generally looks like a rash or irritation that's confined to the area in contact with the responsible chemical and has been exposed to the sun. Now, most cases of contact dermatitis go away on their own once the substance is no longer in contact with your skin, but it can take up to a month to completely heal. And here are some tips you can try at home. First, stop using any products you think might be causing the problem. Then clean your skin with mild soap and lukewarm water to remove any irritants. Avoid scratching your irritated skin. Scratching can make the irritation worse and even cause a skin infection that might require antibiotics. Try using products that control itching like calamine lotion or a hydrocortisone cream. And if needed, take an antihistamine to cut down on the itching and reduce your allergic response. Most times, contact dermatitis isn't a cause for concern. However, you should seek medical attention if the rash is close to your eyes or mouth or covers a large area of your body or doesn't improve with anything you do at home. Your doctor can prescribe a more potent steroid cream if home treatments don't really soothe your skin. And if you can't avoid what's bothering your skin, you might think about wearing gloves or using creams to keep your skin safe and free of rashes. If you'd like to learn more, listen each week for your skincare tip with me, your personal skincare guru, Nadine Toriello, licensed esthetician. And if you have a question, post it in the comments below or send me an email through my website, flmindbodyspirit.com. Wishing you a spotastic day.